At this moment, she had understood. She was watching this queen solve the puzzle. The key to monkey hunting is to control the high ground, keep them beneath you and out of the flimsy treetops, and to hunt down. From that moment on, she knew it too. Command the high treetops, and you have your monkey. Leopards have an uncanny ability to visualize an ascent in an instant and mentally plan each foothold before they leap up a thorny tree trunk with a near vertical incline, all while holding a dead weight in their jaws. Lacadema's kill is a good one, the monkey's alpha male. It will throw the troop into disarray for weeks and make them vulnerable. But even though her meal may last a day or two, they will be even more alert now. This knowledge of how to kill and how to survive, handed down from mother to daughter, is a legacy keeping their bloodline alive from generation to generation. Lacadema is the only surviving cub of this territory, chosen by fate to continue that lineage forward. She was a six-month-old cub then. Mother and daughter were spending all their time together. They were comfortable, perhaps even enjoying each other as they spent hours playing and hunting together. Lacadema was becoming more of a companion to her mother than just a cub. On this day, she was being shown the boundaries of the territory, and everything was new for her. It was her first wet season. Butterflies and flowers danced in front of her eyes, luring her off into the forest, further and further from her mother. Distraction like this can mean the difference between life and death in a place bristling with other predators. Fortunately for leopards, the lions here are too bulky to climb trees. Lacadema's mother had no way of knowing if the growls and hisses in the distance was Lacadema in serious trouble or not. To survive, she should stay in the treetops. But as a mother, she needed to get to her cub. Lacadema's mother decided to risk all to get to her cub. Too much excitement for one day, and the lions barely noticed her discreet exit. Lacadema's alert awareness of the forest has saved her. Together at last, the crisis avoided, 
mother and daughter released the pent-up tension that staring danger in the face always brings. resumed their play, even more connected by their traumatic adventure, flying through the trees like high-wire acrobats, suspended in a world of their own, way above the dangers that lions and hyenas bring down below. This was their time to be together. A time to share each other's elation and each other's pain in a way that only mothers and daughters can ever know. Each day, Lachadima was adding small pieces of knowledge to her arsenal, weapons to cope with the harsh world around her and emotions that would guide her through life. Today, this young female with a unique whisker spot is bushwise. Her beautifully patterned fur is like a cloak of invisibility. But one creature in the treetops always sees through her disguise. It is a constant irritation. From her earliest days, Lacadina's destiny would be intertwined with these screeching alarmists high up in the forest. Deep within her soul lurked a lethal killer, but at two weeks old, she couldn't quite get the execution right. The mind was willing, but the legs were simply too short. Within her, though, the quiet seeds of a supreme squirrel huntress were starting to grow. They taunted her for months with a continual stream of insults from above, and she had had enough. Their time had come. She was focused and ready. Old, she was agile enough, no longer afraid of heights, and ready to take her small fight to the battlefield. 